introduction. Uh, as Benjamin said, my name is Jennifer Clamp, and um, I've led the design and creation of Tech Week New Zealand. But I'm starting uh, this talk today with this image, which is a beautiful e ecosystem in New Zealand. I'm showing it to you in part to tempt you to come and visit New Zealand, um, but also to make a point. So when you look at this image, do you see a beautiful, tranquil scene? Or do you see a tree and a rock and moss and a fern? I'd assume it's the first that you see a beautiful, tranquil scene. And I'd like to draw a comparison to entrepreneurial ecosystems, that they are made up of many parts, of uh, entrepreneurs, corporates, investors, researchers, but it's their interconnectivity and the way that those components work together that actually make a system and an ecosystem. And what I'd like to propose today is the most important part of an entrepreneurial ecosystem is its soft infrastructure. As Ben said, uh, I would define this as a, its events, its communities, and its networks. And I propose that because, it, again, it's that interconnectivity that this soft infrastructure brings that really brings that ecosystem to life. And it does that through creating connection, creating inspiration, and also being a platform for new leadership. So by connection, I mean connection between like-minded people. I think we probably all have experienced what it's like being the only one thinking a certain way or wanting to do a certain thing. It can be quite lonely. And so meeting like-minded people through events such as meetups, like a hardware meetup or a women in tech meetup, or we've got a functional reactive programming meetup in Auckland, um, can be really empowering for people to realize their dreams. Um, but also interconnectivity between the different ecosystem players. So a good example of those sorts of events are awards or entrepreneurial competitions that will bring together different players, your entrepreneurs, your investors, corporates, researchers, etc. And it's that interconnection that means that every organization in the ecosystem thrives. The next is inspiration. Um, the great thing about these informal, informal networks and events is that they provide an opportunity um, to just go and have a play, to learn about something new, to hear new ideas, um, to learn a new skill, just to be curious. They provide an opportunity to learn new skills, and they're generally just very welcoming and non-judgmental. And uh, this can be quite different to a corporate environment where, or uh, when you're at work, you're expected to perform a role, um, and your learning is generally focused around that role. This ecosystem allows people to really experiment and learn, try developing new skills and get into new areas. And then lastly, leadership. So I think that the soft infrastructure events community is a really important part of developing new leadership, um, whether that's radically new ideas, ways of working. They provide a platform to test those ideas and share them and for new people to step up. A great example of this for us with Tech Week has been the, a company, a tech company in New Zealand that wanted to move into the blockchain space. So they ran an event during Tech Week on blockchain they then set up a meetup over the following year, so that was in 2016. They ran another one in 2017. They are now the go-to company for blockchain in New Zealand, for the media, for anybody wanting to run workshops, etc. Um, and so I think this informal uh, you know, networks, these communities events, provide a real platform for people to step up and take new leadership and share new ideas. And this has been relevant for me because my work has always been around creating environments in which people can thrive. And in summary, I think that this soft infrastructure creates an opportunity for individuals to make the connections, to realize their dreams, um, to develop the new skills, and, and to share their work. And so with Tech Week, um, what we've uh, found for New Zealand um, is that this mission of amplifying innovation that's good for the world has really brought together that, uh, that community across New Zealand, so the community of event organizers and people leading these communities and networks. So Tech Week started in 2016. It was a pilot. We had 55 events that took part. So it's a platform um, that brings together uh, events and um, these networks and communities to run events uh, over the uh, duration of a week. Um, and so in 2016, we piloted in Auckland, and we had 55 events. We'd aimed for 30. We were told we wouldn't get more than 10. 
Um, so we're really excited about that. And off the back of that, that success, uh, we rolled Tech Week out this year across the entire country. So between the 6th and the 14th of May, we had 287 events that happened in 24 locations across New Zealand. And the great thing about this program of events um, is that they're independently run, and so they were really diverse. So as well as being in a range of places, they covered a range of topics. Um, most of them were free, uh, and they're at different levels. So anybody with kind of curiosity about the entrepreneurial space, the innovation space, it was easy for them to find something they could relate to and be part of. And so through this platform, we're also growing that ecosystem across the country. And the other neat thing is that most of the events are run uh, by communities and networks that exist so that when people go along, they can then become part of uh, that community and continue to learn and grow with them throughout the year. So the strategy behind Tech Week actually came out of a piece of work that I did to look at the role of events in the innovation and entrepreneurship space. And what I found was that there are a lot of events that were already happening. There are a lot of networks and communities out there. But they're generally running uh, as volunteer organizations. They didn't have much resource. They were generally, um, their reach wasn't growing. They didn't know if they were having much of an impact and they wanted to be part of something bigger. And I was doing this research for the local government. And uh, the findings also apply to our central government, which is why we've rolled it out nationally. So they wanted to create an event that represented what was really unique about New Zealand information, innovation so that we could share that with the world. And what we could have done is we could have just created a new event uh, that we could control and manage, but uh, it probably would have been easier, but it wouldn't have been th authentic. Uh, it wouldn't have authentically represented our ecosystem, and it wouldn't have necessarily been sustainable either because an ecosystem continues to grow and evolve. Um, and so what was really important to us was to actually work with that community that already existed. They were already connected, they knew their audience, uh, they were already investing a lot of time and energy and passion, and to work with them to support them in um, getting greater visibility of what they're doing, grow their networks, um, and get better at, at what they're doing, you know, lift their events to a world-class standard. So that's what we'll be doing in 2018. Uh, so you're all very welcome to come down and visit New Zealand. Tech Week will happen the second to last week of May. And we'll be working with existing event organizers um, to really refine that program and that story about what is really unique about that New Zealand innovation ecosystem. So I hope what you've heard through this example is the importance, um, in my mind, of working with that grassroots community. I don't think any ecosystem will be the same as Silicon Valley. It can't be, because it's not Silicon Valley. Um, but if you're looking for that special something that makes your ecosystem tick, uh, and that story that makes them unique, I think that those events and networks and communities exist in every city, and it's just a case of getting out there and talking to them and working with them to really cement that story and cement the ecosystem. And lastly, um, if you are working on this in your city, I found this book really valuable, uh, Brad Fell's Building Startup Communities, and a lot of the principles uh, that I've talked about today are also in the book. Thank you for listening.